Hello everybody, thanks for watching. This is George with Wicked Warnings here with a very long video, fair warning. This is a big job, big monster international 4400 for our good friends at Altum Transport. This particular truck is featuring a whole bunch of lighting, some of which is readily available and some of which is special order. So what you'll see on this truck, first and foremost, right up front, is our forehead Wicked Stick that's displaying an amber only flash pattern by customer request and we also removed some rather cheesy AutoZone style fog lights and we've tied in the white steady burn to the factory fog light switch which as I said used to power some cheesy little fog lights we removed them we installed that warning bar and now when you hit the factory fog light switch the warning bar has the flood white option when the factory fog light switches off course we return back to our warning mode that is just one of the many patterns available on that let me show you a little bit more about what's going on on the front so as you can see this truck is quite tall and with our tripod all the way up you can just barely see that Wayland Justice full-size LED bar on the roof we built this truck exactly how the customer wanted it so we've got a all amber Justice bar on the roof by Wayland it's stood up on custom mounts about eight inches off the roof so it'll clear that front factory visor it also reflects nicely off of the Altum logo on the box we've got two previously installed double flash strobe beacons up on the top corners of the box that we just wired into the new system because they were there and they're working please pardon my shaky camera I'm standing up on a ladder holding the camera so you can see the light bar and the mounts those are some steel mounts we powder coated black to match the roof stand that light bar up high enough to clear this factory front visor this was all done in our house here wicked warnings let me show you the side all right, I'm having a little trouble backing up far enough to even show you everything. Uh, we are going to do some outside shots of this truck later on, but let me go down the sides and tell you what we're looking at. We've got sound off end line runners underneath the doors. That's a 48 inch four section underneath each front door. We've also got 10, yes, 10 of our TIR threes on the back box, three on the top, two on the bottom and we're featuring our 28 inch thin X strip in only amber flash we've got quantity four on the back we've got two facing sideways on the box and two facing backwards on the box corners and we've also got two head wicked sticks on the back of the box this was built to spec to flash all amber we didn't want to do any white so we've disabled the white flash on the thin X strip as well as that front bumper as we spoke earlier we disabled the white flash on that as well you can see we've synchronized the top of the box to flash middle outside and we've also synchronized the bottom to go along with that we did not add the last bottom light because it would have been redundant with the 28 inch strip on the back of the box there obviously the driver's side is done exactly the same as the passenger side but as you can see it's pretty much right up against the wall so i won't be able to show you that at all let me show you some of the back I get asked this a lot are your lights bright I hope this illustrates this is our cheapest light it's a TIR 3 and uh, I hope you can see right here yes they're bright now it's a direct on shot and even all the way up there you can see how bright they are so yes our lights are extremely bright and as you can see around the front here how well that strip works underneath the door this particular truck as you can read is a emergency spill response truck so this comes out when somebody spills something hazardous on the highway these are the guys that come out and take care of it right away so it's a very important truck it needs to have good lighting because it is always on the response to an accident scene so we want to keep the guys that are working out of the back of this truck nice and safe so we've lit this thing up all over to the max let me show you in the back by the way shout out to Altum Transport and Al Warren Oil specialized carriers of petroleum and chemical products if you're in this industry 
give these guys a call. I think they are the best around for sure. Now I'm backed up in the other corner of the shop and you can see we've not only wigwagged the 28 inch strips on the back of the truck, but we've also wigwagged them with the side. So you'll see a left to right alternation on the rear as well as a side to back alternation on each corner. That gives him very good warning all the way around well over 180 degrees on the back half of the truck and as you can see we're doing a triple flash each way we didn't want to do anything overly obnoxious because the men that work in this truck will be around the back more than the front and I don't want to be blinding the guys trying to do their job as you can see we were very careful to place the lights in an area where when the doors are pinned open none of the light is blocked um, that's why we did them right there on the corners the way we did them is because doors open doors closed you get all of the needed light that you want you can see there also we've got some LED work lights up on the corners outside uh, forgive me the one on the right I'm waiting on a pigtail plug uh, the lights fine I just was shorted a pigtail so at the time of this video I couldn't power it up for you but the pigtail is on the way and that light will be working just like the passenger very shortly it also has a couple of LED lights previously installed inside the box of the truck in the back these are all switched from in the cab so as I was saying earlier out back here we've got two of our wicked sticks in two head and they're placed up there right in between the DOT lighting on the box and we've got them in a slow to fast alternating pattern again trying to make it not too obnoxious for the back because this is where all the actions happening but definitely nice high bright warning with a little bit of movement to keep all the cars aware of what's happening with this vehicle right, here we are inside the hot box and uh, just to show you guys a little bit about the wiring no we don't just have a bunch of crap all stuck together inside of here that's actually our wiring up there in the in the loom way up there but as you can see we've kept it tight and right along the ceiling completely out of the way of all this fancy stuff for work we came down the corner here and that's where we're going out for the back there try to keep the minimal amount of holes drilled in this truck as we can you can see over on this side as well some wiring right there along the roof nice and tight up in the corner well secured so it's out of the way so of course this is what the inside of the box looks like forgive the fast movement but I just wanted to show you all that there wasn't a bunch of ratty connections and crap wire hanging everywhere in here I'm sorry but I just gotta say it again look at those strips under the door that is a nice light and we're gonna start stocking that light I like it mounts good looks good Again, sound off end line, special order right now. The only thing that you could get in stock on this build is going to be the TIR3s or the Thin X strips or the Wicked sticks, the roof bar, the custom brackets, the end lines, they're all custom order. Let me show you a little switching. All right, so here in the cab of the truck. Now, this truck has been in service for quite a while, it's 2006. So the guys have gotten used to these two switches. Uh, this is your white lights for the back of the box and this used to run only the two beacon lights so everybody that's driven this truck in this company and there's more than one person I'm sure that drives it has been aware that this is their warning light switch and that this is their steady on switch so what we've done is we've used this switch to trigger a bank of relays hiding up underneath the dash and that bank of relays is divided into three circuits uh, I believe the cab of the truck the roof light bar and the box of the truck um, broken up into three different circuits and uh, that way the one switch will run everything without maxing out and overloading the switch because it's only tripping relays the relays are fed off of the battery the way a normal relay is fed and uh, this way we don't have to put in a new switch we don't have to change how the operators are used to running the truck and everybody gets in it pulls the same switch out and it just has a lot better warning so if you're rocking something with this logo in your fleet you want to bring it in here let wicked warnings take care of it and we'll get you going I just wanted to show you all a little shot of the truck with 
the parking lights on.